Understanding Mulholland Drive in two minutes and two seconds. Go. The film begins in reality, with our protagonist named Diane winning a jitterbug contest. Shown in surreal style, she goes to Hollywood to pursue her dreams. While there, she meets Rita. They eventually get into a lesbian relationship, but after seeing Rita practice a scene with Adam, she gets jealous and refuses Rita from entering her home. Eventually, she's invited to a dinner party where she hears that Rita and Adam are about to get married. Later in the Winkies Diner, Diane decides to hire a man for a job. We're not quite sure what this job is, but the man says once the job's done, she'll get a key. While Diane is in her apartment, demons come to haunt her that leads her to kill herself. This is where the confused comes in. We are led to believe that everything in the first half of the movie was a dream, and that all the people in reality are playing different people in the dream. But another theory is that we're led to believe that all this was actually purgatory, and everything that happened in the beginning half of the movie happened just after she kills herself. And in her trip through purgatory, she has to come to terms with her passions and dreams before she can pass on. Now to understand what the little things mean. The blue box is meant to contain her dreams, and when we go into the blue box, it's her ending her trip through purgatory. The cowboy is meant to represent God, the ultimate authority, and of course we see him twice, meaning that Diane did bad. The homeless man, or woman, is meant to represent Diane's fear of failure. The performance artist is the devil, reminding Diane that none of this is real. Mr. Rock is the boss of everything, making the decisions. In fact, the man at Winkies saying I can see the man behind the wall is actually referring to Mr. Rock instead of the homeless man. The only truly real thing in the movie is the lady in the balcony with the blue hair. And everything in the movie is something she's watched on stage. Silencio.